In this pod, we'll investigate the current and potential difference of lamps in series and in parallel. It's worth noting that this pod has a lot of circuit diagrams. It's preferable to look at the screen while you listen, but if you can't, be prepared to draw the diagrams yourself. Let's revise what we mean by series and parallel circuits. A circuit with two lamps in series has those two lamps within one loop. The circuit goes from the power supply to the first lamp, then to the second lamp and back to the power supply. When you add more and more lamps in a series, you will find that the lamps get dimmer and dimmer. Also, you find that if one lamp were to break, then all the lamps will go out. This is because a broken lamp makes a gap in the circuit. A circuit with two lamps in parallel has those two lamps each within their own loop. There are two loops and each loop contains the power supply and one lamp. When you add more and more lamps in parallel, you find that the brightness of each added lamp is the same as the brightness of the first lamp. They do not get dimmer like they did in the series circuit. If one of these lamps were to break, the others would remain lit because they are still within a complete circuit of their own. Firstly, we'll investigate the current in lamps placed in series and in parallel. To measure current through a lamp, we use an ammeter. The ammeter must be placed in series with the lamp and within the same loop as the lamp. The ammeter can be placed before or after the lamp. Now we have the ammeter set up, let's look at current in a series circuit. Imagine you have set up a circuit containing a 12 volt power supply and two lamps in series. Now we add ammeters A1, A2 and A3 in the positions shown. A1 before the lamps, A2 between the lamps and A3 after the lamps. We can take readings from each ammeter. Examples of current readings you may get are A1 equals 2 amps, A2 equals 2 amps and A3 equals 2 amps. We find that in a series circuit, the current is the same everywhere. Now let's look at current in a parallel circuit. Imagine we set up a circuit containing a 12 volt power supply and two lamps in parallel. Now we add ammeters A1, A2, A3 and A4. A1 is just after the cells before the circuit splits into two loops. A2 is in the first loop, A3 is in the second loop and A4 is after the two loops have rejoined. Examples of current readings you may get are A1 equals 8 amps, A2 equals 4 amps, A3 equals 4 amps, and A4 equals 8 amps. We find that in a parallel circuit, the current from the cells splits at a junction so that it is shared between the loops and then rejoins when the loops rejoin. Now let's investigate the potential difference across lamps placed in series and in parallel. To measure the potential difference across a lamp, we use a voltmeter. This must be placed in parallel with the lamp, meaning that the voltmeter is in its own separate loop. Firstly, let's look at the potential difference of lamps in a series circuit. Imagine we set up a circuit containing a 12 volt power supply and two lamps in a series. We now add voltmeters V1, V2 and V3. V1 is placed in parallel across the power supply and V2 and V3 are placed in parallel across each lamp. We can take readings from each voltmeter. Examples of the potential difference readings you may get are V1 equals 12 volts, V2 equals 6 volts and V3 equals 6 volts. We find that in a series circuit, the potential difference is shared between lamps. This result explains why lamps placed in series get dimmer. They have to share potential difference, and so they share the energy from the power supply. Finally, let's look at potential difference across lamps in a parallel circuit. Let's set up a circuit containing a 12 volt power supply and two lamps in parallel. Now we add voltmeters V1, V2 and V3. V1 is placed in parallel across the power supply and V2 and V3 are placed in parallel across each lamp. Now we can take readings from each voltmeter. Examples of potential difference readings you may get 
are V1 equals 12 volts, V2 equals 12 volts, and V3 equals 12 volts. We find that in a parallel circuit, the potential difference is the same across each parallel loop. This result explains why lamps placed in parallel do not get dimmer. Each lamp gets the full potential difference, and so gets the full energy from the power supply. In this pod, we've learnt the following circuit rules. 1. That in a series circuit, the current is the same everywhere. 2. That in a parallel circuit, the current is shared between the loops. 3. That in a series circuit, the potential difference is shared between components. 4. That in a parallel circuit, the potential difference is the same across each loop.